It doesn't get any more tension packed than this. The 2022 FIFA World Cup final. Who is going to come out on top? Stay with us, we'll have every kick of the ball for you live next on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Argentina up against Portugal. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The Argentina first team. Well, in this shape, unless their wing-backs play further forward, there won't be any width in their attacks, which then puts a lot of pressure on the strikers to provide the goal threat. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And as for the attack, well, it has a bold look about it with three forwards listed from the beginning. And so the battle commences. bad pass it was Joao Felix well he has the measure of his opponent but was able to do his job defensively in the end now well Molina Joao Felix And a chance to whip it in here, giving them a different option by moving in field. Straightforward piece of goalkeeping. So this is it for Argentina. World Cup winners in 1978 and 1986, runners up in 1930, 1990, and eight years ago in 2014. Are they going to do it here in 2022? What a big night for them. Well, it's a massive night. And when you talk about World Cup finals, I always go back to night. Could be! It's still alive! And the keeper put to the test, but he comes through it. Well, he's so sharp, isn't he? Great first save, and then the recovery. Ruben Neves. It's with Guerrero. Well, he certainly is a wily customer, whatever way you look at it. Angel Di Maria, Stewart, what might we anticipate seeing from him? Well, the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. Oh, the chance is on, Stewart. Oh, it was a crucial challenge. Well, as a play it goes, and that was in no small measure due to the effective press. And not a great challenge, free kick here. Nicely timed tackle. 
Ramos. It's with Guerrero. Joao Felix. Di Maria. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Tries to lift it. And there it is. Living history. The opening goal of the 2022 World Cup final. Incredible celebrations. Well, here's the replay. And just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And just look at the finish. That's a brilliant piece of skill and vision to chip the goalkeeper from there. What a great goal. has restarted 1-0 here Ruben Neves Bruno Fernandes has it oh they have it again well just over the crossbar excellent effort Guerrero well terrific skill Bruno Fernandes nicely saved Short corner, let's see. Felix. And give it away. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Lisandro Martinez. Di Maria Di Maria the importance of that tackle cannot be overstated Di Maria likes to get on the ball and he has teammates to pass it to in the end it was rather straightforward for the goalkeeper Stuart and he's in and the upshot of that is offside well he needed to look elsewhere because the flag was always going to go up <laughs> pressing high and they have the ball again is it going to be? Opportunity! Well, not great on the accuracy front. Goal kick here. Diogo Dallo. Diogo Dallo on the ball. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Joao Felix. Oh, he's given the ball away. Di Maria. Di Maria, very quick thinking there. Let's get the latest on the injury situation from our pitch side man, Jeff Shreves.
I've got to say, he landed really heavily on his shoulder there and looks like he's in severe pain. But he looks less concerned than the bench, who are worried about him. I think he'll stay on. Cheers, Jeff. So a corner kick it'll be following the deflection. Fired over by Messi. And never quite had the header on the target. Fernandes. He could pick out a teammate. Can they square the game? Well, just leaning back a bit and over the bar. Enzo Fernandez. Rodrigo de Paul. Fernandez. Alvarez. Bad pass. Beautifully disguised ball. Well, the supporters think it's on. Tries to lift it. Well, here it is again, and the keeper's lost his concentration here. He's totally in the wrong position. He'll be disappointed with that. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. And it's gone out of play under real duress. Diogo Dallo. Bruno Fernandes has it. Oh, great play. The timing was perfect. It had to be. That's a routine take. Molina. Di Maria now. Now well, Molina. Di Maria, determined defending. Counter-attacking, very much an option. An incisive pass. Just couldn't capitalise there. Di Maria. Opportunity in the wide area. And let's give credit to the defending. Disappointing pass. Di Maria. Being egged on by the crowd. Di Maria! And the keeper's in trouble. And the keeper more than equal to the task. And there's the delivery. Not all that convincing defensively. And you've got to say, not the best of volleys that time. Yeah, it was certainly there to hit, but he just couldn't make the right contact. It was well wide in the end.
And good pressure high up the pitch. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Well, they profit from this situation. And just like that, the counter attack comes to an end. Di Maria. Will he find the net? A mischievous effort. Well, the keeper does his job. Well, nice idea, but he didn't quite get enough on it, did he? Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Well, he's given it away. Oh, a lovely, incisive pass. Well, we like to call things as we see them, Stuart, and I must say he's got that one horribly wrong. Well, it's a poor decision in the end. It's way off target. Silva, there to win it back. Diaz. Here's Ronaldo. Diogo Dallo. Fernandes. Well, they have it again. Di Maria. Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva distributing intelligently. Oh, that's a fine save. Elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. They take it short. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Intense pressure. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. Diogo Dallo. Lost possession. Silva. Guerrero. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Crucial interception amid impending danger. Oh, terrific pass. Credit to them for winning back possession. Could be a chance to break here. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? Wonderful chance! And it's in! This game very much back on as a contest! Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. Goal! And they get the ball running again. The tails are up as far as Portugal are concerned. And can they exploit the space out wide? 
options in the centre. Trying to lob the keeper. Well, in the final analysis, not quite precise enough. Goal kick here. And a blunder by the keeper. Being egged on by the crowd. Well, plenty of power, but just too much height on it. Bruno Fernandes, well, slightly off target, and that'll be a throw-in. Diogo Dallo. Dallo. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Dallo. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. He's given it away. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. But they've given him too much space. This could be the equaliser. Oh, a goal! He's equalised! Was he made for moments like this? On an occasion like this? Well, here it is again. He goes past these markers so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. But you do have to ask questions of the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. Not many sides would have the mental strength to bounce back from adversity like this team. Can they forge ahead? No! Chance missed! And a big chance at that, Derek. He should have put them in the driving seat there. Chance to run at them. Could cross it in here. Oh, the referee points to the spot. Penalty. Well, no cards handed out, but quite a few upset players out there, Stuart. Well, he's made a genuine attempt to play the ball, so penalty, yes. Yellow card, no. to give them the lead here and in it goes as coolly as you like never in any doubt from the spot well here's the replay and the goalkeeper chooses the right way but he's a bit unlucky because the strike goes above his body it's a good penalty it's the height that beats him on this occasion And there it is, the half-time whistle. Underway once more, it's advantage Portugal after the first 45, but plenty of time for a few twists and turns before this one is over. Marcos Acuna. Oh, maybe the equaliser. Can they 
stop it going in. And in the end, no damage done. And a chance for him on the flank. Oh, could be. Well, you might say he was unlucky. Denied by the post. Goal kick. Marcos Acuna. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. Making a bit of headway. Gives it a go. Oh, did so well to deny him. <laughs> Taken short. This looks interesting. It looked as though it had a chance of going in for the equaliser. It was close, it was a decent effort, just need to keep plugging away now and surely the goal will come. Not much time to make up his mind. And just failed to keep the ball in play that time. Martinez, this could level it. Oh, he saved it well. Pepe. Diogo Dallo. Happy just to retain the ball in their own half and draw out the opposition. Well, they have it again. He's in with a chance. And a touch of finesse. Oh, he squandered the chance. And he was clean through as well. Joao Felix. A really committed challenge. And it's gone out for a throw-in. And continues his run. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. Bruno Fernandes. It's got to be! Oh, a clinical counter-attack. And so close to a goal. Well, that's exactly what they're looking to do. Force the turnover and then break at pace. So close to a very good goal. Marcos Acuna. Martinez. Oh, good vision. Real chance. Oh, a goal! He's equalised! Was he made for moments like this? On an occasion like this? Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And it's a great finish. He holds off the defender, keeps his composure, and finds the back of the net. It's a marvellous goal. Goal. And if you enjoy high-scoring contests, this has been the game for you. time tackle well let's see what they have in store for them on the break and they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move Silva Bruno Fernandes Dallo That is how to put in a challenge. He's been a bit unlucky to concede the corner. And played short.
Felix. Can he put them in front? And still a chance. Well, it came to nothing in the end. And there the attack ends for now. For Nansch. And in the perfect position to read it. Otavia. Gonzalo Ramos. Textbook closing down. And now they're on the attack. Well, that's a pass of high quality. And really tried to blast that one past the keeper. But his radar was a bit off. Read it well. Martinez, can he get them the lead? That's a fairly easy save for any keeper to make. Joao Felix. Opportunity in the wide area. The cross is on. And that is the sort of tackle he had scripted in his mind. And beating the defender. Oh, surely! And searching for his seconds, but the keeper equal to the task. Well, he's looking really lively, isn't he? Every time he gets the ball, he looks a threat. Keen to take it short here. them up here can he finish oh it's a goal and that gives them the advantage will they be able to keep it well here it is again and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack they were so quick to break out from their defensive positions and he makes the finish look so easy what a good goal that is. So back underway, having conceded. Let's find out if Portugal can flick a switch and come up with a goal of their own. Ruben Neves. On to Silva. Patient build-up at the moment. Big chance to get them on terms. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Well, Argentina haven't had that much of the ball so far, but when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. Yes, and maybe another break brewing here. Enzo Fernandez. And he has options available. Martinez. He's going forward well here. The end product just wasn't there. Will it be? Oh, that is extraordinary! True athleticism to make contact in that fashion. And it's one of the finest goals you're ever likely to see. Simply stunning. Well, what a piece of skill this is. It had everything. Agility, technique and power. It's a great goal. Often 
Bruno Fernandes. Diogo Dallo. Fernandes. And Portugal moving the ball with purpose. But quick thinking defensively. 20 minutes to go in this one. Diesch. Dallo. He's beaten his man. Not a fantastic piece of defending, was it? Oh, yes! A goal! Exactly what they were looking for. And he's come up with it. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And Fernandez wasn't going to miss that. He knows exactly where to be in the box when the ball's played in. It's an excellent finish. Goal. And I must say, I'd have to go back quite a few years to remember the last time I covered a game with a scoreline of 5-4. Difficulties for the goalkeeper. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Well, they're doing their best to get on level terms here. Well, it's a decent effort, but they're still trailing. They need something special here. Marcos Acuna. Goalkeeper has it. Oh, great attacking play. Not really what you want to see from your keeper. And threading it forward. Oh, so close to opening up the defence. A quarter of an hour remaining here. This could square the game. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. goal. They've really got to give credit to the entire team, because this was a bit like climbing Mount Everest. Well, he has the measure of his opponent, but stamp defending when it mattered. Guerrero. On the ball, Joao Felix. Oh, he's given it away. Could cross it in here. And the referee has given it. It will be a penalty. Can they forge ahead? Well, no card handed out, but quite a few upset players out there, Stuart. Well, he's made a genuine attempt to play the ball, so penalty, yes. Yellow card, no. This to give them the lead again. And the keeper denies them from the spot. So a throw in here. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Silva. Bruno Fernandes has it. 
Using his strength to hold on to the ball and wait for teammates to arrive. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. And Portugal struggling to keep it. Marcos Acuna. McAllister on the attack as there to be late excitement. Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. Silva. Bruno Fernandes has it. And he keeps going. It's got to be! Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. And the flag was up in good time. It's offside. Well, he should have realised that was going to be offside. That's a poor decision to play that pass. Marcos Acuna. Here's Alvarez. Still pushing for a winner. Can he put it away? And off the frame of the goal. Well, he caught everybody out there. That almost squeezed in. Pepe. Bruno Fernandes has it. Delightful pass. Can he find the net? And the keeper more than equal to the task. Now the teams are level and every corner counts at this juncture. Sloppy there, Bernardo Silva. Gives it a go. Oh, a goal! And how important could that be? Maybe it's a story of one hand on the trophy at this stage of the final. A huge moment. Well, let's see this again. He tries to run out with the ball. He has the ball taken off of him. He's made the wrong decision. And suddenly the ball's in the back of the net. Terrible defending. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw-in. And cleared away. So after that, a goal kick it'll be. Now this is far from over, we're going to have five minutes of stoppage time. I think most defenders would expect to be booked, halting an attack in that fashion. Well, a yellow card it is, and not too many complaints. No, he can't argue with that, he's been warned. He continues his run, a disappointing end to the move. Forwards. 
that'll be a Portugal throw well, that's a well-timed pass Dallo a really good stop at the critical stage well had that gone in there was no way back not much time left now though Take it short. Corner again. But he's gone short with it. And increasing the pressure. Another corner it is. And how about the short corner? And he takes it on. Easy save. Alexis McAllister. Well, they're attacking, but time is the great enemy. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. They were playing fluent football, but then the foul, and now you would anticipate a yellow card. Well, deemed to have been a cautionable offence. Well, no question about it. He deserved his booking there. And now it's all over. We've witnessed history. Portugal have won the World Cup for the first time. Well, they've been kings of Europe. Now they're kings of the world. And I have to say, Derek, they fully deserved it. They were great today. Portugal, the world champions! And this is finally Portugal's time, fully deserved, best team in the world. Well, you have to give credit to the coach, he's been excellent, but so too the players and these fans. It's absolutely magnificent for them.